Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how narcissists are creepy. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.com. .co.uk. Narcissists are creepy. A narcissist is the type of person who will make your skin crawl. They will shock and disgust you. It's a feeling similar to having an insect crawl over your skin, which is an insult to insects, but narcissists are absolutely vile and revolting. They're of little worth and value and they're morally bad and wicked. They're foul, unpleasant, disagreeable, offensive, obnoxious, repulsive, off-putting and distasteful. Just the thought of them may make you want to curl up into a ball. You want to hide away and feel safe from them by making yourself as small as possible. Because being around them is exhausting and it makes you feel anxious. They are predators who act in a threatening manner. They violate numerous social norms and personal boundaries. And they will actively ignore lack of consent due to entitlement issues. Because many of them are unattractive and socially awkward. So they project their neediness, insecurity and low status onto us. Which may cause unpleasant feelings of fear or unease. It may cause hair raising or spine chilling sensations. They are the type of people to stare at you for no apparent reason, touch you to get past you, instead of saying excuse me. Comment on your body or your personal life when you don't even know them and persist even when you tell them that you're not interested because there is nothing that you can say to them that they haven't heard before. They've been rejected so many times, so they're used to violating people's boundaries. It doesn't even feel uncomfortable to them. There's no alarm bells in their heads telling them to stop. They have no conscience, so they don't care about the result of their actions. Although some of them may move slowly and carefully to avoid drawing too much attention to them. They create intense whirlwind connections and then they suddenly disengage because they're unable to sustain their false character. They will create the illusion of an instant soulmate connection when beneath that facade they are absolute weirdos. They are not interested in genuine connection. They're only seeking power. So as soon as they feel that you're invested, they pull away. They want to leave you confused and desperate for their approval because they're extremely insecure. Which is why you should never share your vulnerabilities with a narcissist. Because rather than supporting you, they will subtly exploit your openness. So they will take any negative experience you've had as an opportunity for them to make you feel guilty, paint themselves as the victim and shift responsibility for their own hurtful behavior. And if you confront them, they might pretend to be easily triggered or they will claim that you're too sensitive to manipulate you into overlooking their toxic behavior which is how you should realize that they are pathological liars. They gaslight and distort reality to fit their preferred narrative. And they will make you question your own memory or sanity as a means of maintaining control. They will destroy your confidence in your own judgment to make you more dependent on their skewed version of events. They may also compare you to other people in negative ways to unravel your self-esteem 
because they do not want to improve you. They want to provoke insecurities that make you desperate to win their favour and prove you're worthy of their conditional love. So they may often flirt with other people in front of you, talk about their exes, or even create imaginary scenarios to prop up this illusion of their desirability because they want to make you jealous and insecure so that you will work harder for their attention. Which is why if you get too comfortable around them, they will disappear or use the silent treatment as a form of punishment because they want everything to evolve around them. And if it doesn't, they will even resort to spreading lies and engaging in smear campaigns in a desperate attempt to keep you under their control while they project their flaws and insecurities onto you and sabotage your success. Because they cannot tolerate your happiness if it's independent of them, which is why they will never respect your boundaries. In their minds, it's a defiance because they have an inflated sense of entitlement so they believe that the rules shouldn't apply to them. They will never respect your boundaries because they do not view people as separate individuals with their own autonomy. So instead they will get very angry because they will perceive it as a slight to their fragile ego to where they may insult you or become physically intimidating because they want to force you back into submission which reveals the true nature that exists beneath their charming mask. Being around a narcissist is exhausting because you're constantly having to walk on eggshells, navigate their moods, and overanalyze your words to avoid triggering them until they eventually erode your self-confidence, leaving you to become a shell of your former self. And then you're left feeling empty, anxious, and questioning your own worth because they will drain every ounce of your wonderful qualities until you're exhausted and emotionally traumatized. And then they will discard you like trash and replace you with a shiny new toy to repeat the cycle all over again. They treat people like objects because they have no empathy, which is why if you are fortunate enough to expose them, they will stalk, monitor, and plot revenge on you. They will create chaos to keep you focused on them and only them. Because they know that they will not be able to sustain your interest naturally. Which is why they rely on a mask. They will create chaos to keep you on the hamster wheel of trying to figure out their intentions and second guessing yourself. They train you to question what you did wrong instead of holding them accountable for their actions. They convince you that setting boundaries or expressing discomfort is the problem rather than their foolish and outrageous behavior which is causing you to feel that way. Narcissists will use baiting where they deliberately provoke you so that you emotionally react and then they will point the finger at you. They will create circular conversations that go nowhere as an opportunity to project, emotionally invalidate and gaslight you. And if you call them out of their manipulative behavior, they will play the victim and lash out in narcissistic rage. Because in their warped reality, they are not at fault for attacking or insulting you, which is why they will blame and shame you for your reaction to their behavior. Rather than seeing something wrong with anything they've done. Because these crazy making arguments serve the purpose of distracting you from their true self and the nature of their manipulation. It gives them narcissistic supply as they feed off your emotional reactions, which then validates their sense of superiority and importance. 
Their tactics also work to disarm you and exhaust you to the point where you're unable to fight back, defend yourself or engage in self-care. The narcissist wants to keep you in a state of confusion so that you do not realize that they're not who they were portraying themselves to be. Initially, they mirrored you and they made you believe there's something they're not by making an impression that appealed to you and by reflecting your positive traits back to you. They did it all to get you to like them or even fall in love with them. While they had no real intent on reciprocation, they threw out the bait customized just for you and then you latched onto it because you believed it was genuine. They made themselves appear relatable to you so that you would then open up to them and make yourself vulnerable. But the moment you do that around a narcissist, they will drop their mask and you will begin to see who they really are, how they really feel and what they're capable of. Because initially they may have seemed attentive, interested, empathic and caring. But underneath the mask, they actually have no real feeling at all, other than anger or apathy. They are cold, insensitive and indifferent. But by the time you realise this, they've already betrayed your trust, loyalty and love. And then they've lost interest. And by knowing that this hurts you, actually makes them feel good. Because it validates them. It makes them feel like they are better than you. Which is why they put the time and energy into this performance. To extract the attention and validation that they need from you. Because underneath the mask, they're actually just cowards and bullies who have very low self-esteem. So everything's just all about them. They see themselves as the centre of the world. They will never consider what anyone else wants or needs unless it serves them to use that to get what they want. You are a means to an end with a narcissist. You're just an object to make them feel better about themselves. Which is why when you're around them it feels like death because they have a deep empty void that can never be filled which resulted in them becoming an energy vampire. Narcissists are creepy. They won't tolerate any personal boundaries. They will rummage through your personal belongings and throw things out without permission because they are oblivious to the fact that people are separate beings with their own ideas or tastes. But they are shocked and even afraid when their victim finally musters up the courage to leave them and focus on themselves. Because while you are under their control, they think that they own you. So in their minds, they can do whatever they want with you. You are their personal entertainment, their plaything, their toy. So they can put you on the shelf and retrieve you at a later date when they're bored with the other one. Until finally, you reach the point where you know you need to get rid of this parasite. And when that happens, they're shocked. They can't believe it. Because once they had you locked in a cage where you were under their control. And they had you dependent on them. But once you've come to the realization on what a creep the narcissist is. You can then focus on yourself, your job, your hobbies and interests your income, your friendships, and maybe a loving relationship. The smile on your face will return, and you can then focus on rebuilding your spirit and aura. After the domination and control you've experienced, you can finally be free and improve all aspects of your life. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, 
you can donate to paypal.me slash narc survivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon